Jack Benny program. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. You know, I just went through the penalty of being a celebrity. You see, this being a studio, you know, where stars come in and go, actors, you see, there are always a crowd of people outside uh, clamoring for autographs and souvenirs and everything. And just as I was coming in, a little old lady walked over to me with a pair of scissors in her hand, and before I knew what she was doing, she cut off the end of my tie. <laughs> and you know, the whole thing was so unnecessary. I kept telling her I'm not Rock Hudson. <laughs> but you know, normally, of course, people just ask for autographs. That's all. And, uh, of course, sometimes they ask you to sign the silliest thing, a little piece of cardboard. Well, there was a fellow standing there tonight who handed me a dollar bill, you know, wanted me to put my name on it. And so, all those ridiculous, imagine signing a dollar bill. I think it was a dollar. Let's just... <laughs> no, it was five. <laughs> now, at least I can pay for my tithe. <laughs> But I, um, and you know, a strange thing, you've probably heard this a million times, about people who ask for autographs. For some reason or other, they always, they're always ashamed to say it's for themselves. Everybody who asks, they always say it's for my granddaughter or my grandson, you know. I don't know why it is, but they all, they're ashamed to say, give me an autograph for me. It's for my granddaughter. They always do it. But then, of course, don't get me wrong, I, uh, I appreciate all of my fans. As a matter of fact, so much so that tonight I've gotten so many lovely fan letters, I'd like to read some of them you, for, for you tonight, if you don't mind. Could I have my fan mail, please? Thank you. I, I'm not going to be able to read it all. You know. I'll just... Uh... Oh, for heaven's sake, this isn't my bag. This is Don Wilson's lunch. <laughs> something moving in there. I don't know what... Here, take this back, will you, please? For heaven's sakes. Imagine having... <laughs> oh, you thought I was kidding, didn't you? Get this out of here. He has to eat it later. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the reason that I wanted you to read, I wanted to read some of this fan uh, these fan letters to you is because you'd be surprised how many letters I get asking me if just once I would play a violin solo and finish it, that I'd stop kidding around with it, you see? So I'm going to do it because they want me to. I'm going to do it now. I, uh... May I have my violin, please? Thank you. My bowl. <laughs> and my rosin. <laughs> now, of course. stage hand to bring these things out, but uh, I just thought I'd like to do something for you folks who are not music lovers. <laughs> you may go. No. This bit, this bit alone, cost me $600. <laughs> but it started three beautiful friendships. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to play Monty's Chartas.
Well, honey, you're not supposed to come up here on the stage in the middle of a show, you know. I'm sorry, Mr. Benny, but I thought maybe you'd let me have your autograph. Well, I'll give it to you as soon as the show is over. Okay. So just go back and then come back later. I'm... Oh, wait a minute, as long as you were here. <laughs> come here, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you now. You sure this autograph is for you? I mean, it isn't for your grandmother or anything. Huh? Oh, no, this is for me. My grandmother already has the end of your tie. <laughs> I see. All right. Then I will give you this autograph. What is your what is your name? Tony Marcus. Tony, Tony Marcus. That's a cute name. Oh, wait a minute. This is so uncomfortable. Here, hold this a minute, will you, darling? Be careful. That's a violin here. Hold this, honey. Here, hold the, the bow. Don't touch the hair or anything. Just, just hold the bow. Then I'll, I'll write something nice on here, you know. To Tony, with all good wishes. With all the... <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Mom. That's fine. No, no, that's fine, honey. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Give me the violin already. <laughs> now, go back where you were sitting. Now, sit Wait a minute, come here. Here's the autograph. You can iron it out. Later. I probably, you know, I was a little bit upset. You're welcome. You're welcome. Of course, it would be ridiculous for me to play that same number now. But ladies and gentlemen, I know you won't be disappointed when I introduce my guest star of the evening, a very, very talented, lovely young lady who is one of our most popular recording stars, and certainly one of our most beautiful, Miss Julie London. Hey, Daddy. I want a diamond ring, bracelets, everything. Daddy, you ought to get the best from me. Daddy G Won't I look swell in sables clothes with Paris labels Daddy You ought to get the best from me Here's an amazing revelation With a bit of the stimulation I'd be a great sensation I'd be your inspiration Daddy I want a brand new car Champagne Caviar Daddy You ought to get the best of me For vacation, I promise I won't ration. All you need for relaxation, Daddy. I want some charge accounts at sacks for large amounts, Daddy. You ought to get the best for me. You ought to get the best for me. Oh, baby, like, if you can't make it, I'm gonna have to split. You dig? Bye. Just wonderful, and I can't tell you how happy I am that you're on the show with me. Huh? Oh, well, Jack, it's it's a big thrill for me working with America's number one comedian. 
What'd you say, Judy? I said it's a big thrill for me to be working with America's number one comedian. Look, Julie, when you sing, whisper, you see? Yes. But when you're complimenting me, speak up. <laughs> I mean, the way she talks, I feel like we're doing our show in a library. <laughs> but anyway, Julie, I do want to thank you for the compliment. I've always been a great admirer of yours, you know, and I... I, oh, I love all of the albums that you make. You do such a good job with them. Oh, that's very nice of you to say so, Jack. Lately, and uh, I, the records, so many of those records. Tell me, what is the most difficult thing about making a record album? Posing for the covers. <laughs> I want to tell you that uh, not only that I'm, I'm glad that you're on the show, this is the second time you've been with oh, me, isn't it? Oh, I should say so, Jack. And, you know, I always being, enjoy being with you so much. You have? Mm-hmm. I certainly do. You're so easy to work with. Uh, usually I'm nervous, but with you I'm so relaxed. You make everyone feel so comfortable, so mm -hmm. at ease. Really? Mm -hmm. I've admired you for so long. In fact, I think you're the sweetest person I know. You're whispering again. <laughs> Wait for the laugh, honey. Wait for the laugh. <laughs> what do you say? What? I mean it, Jack. You I mean it. I say it. Uh, and, you know, I'd really like to tell you what I think of you, but uh, maybe you'd let me sing it to you, huh? Want to sing what you're thinking? Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Whenever I'm downhearted or have a trying day, Come along and kiss me. You're sweet that way. And when I'm feeling moody, without a word to say, you my moment. You're sweet that way. Sweet that way. Beautiful. I think she likes me too. You know. <laughs> and now, um, and now, ladies and gentlemen, not to disappoint you, I'm going to do what I started to do before, and that is play a violin number. Now, all the way through. Could I have my violin, please? <laughs> uh, my bow. <laughs> and now, my my rod. <laughs> Where's that third girl that was here? That was me. <laughs> you? Yeah. I didn't know I had to come back, so I took my makeup off. <laughs> oh, get off of here, will you? Oh, that's the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to play the meditation from Thais. You gave me. You spelled Tony wrong. 
I spell Tony wrong? Yes. When Tony is a girl's name, it's spelled with an I. Oh, and I spell it with a Y. No, with an E. <laughs> I spell Tony with an E? Yes, two of them. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. Well, look at I'll I'll fix it up for you later, huh? Okay. And Mr. Benny, what? I'm sorry I interrupted you because I love to hear you play the violin. Do you really? Yes, I listen to you all the time. No. Yes. And you know that number you would, did with Giselle McKenzie? Oh, you heard, is the one that, uh, getting to know you? you uh-huh, I can play that. Really? I always practiced it at home. You mean after you saw Giselle? Me, after you heard us do it, huh? Yes. Oh, for him. And you can play it? Uh -huh. Really? Her part, huh? Yes. Oh, gosh, the apple. Well, would you like to play it with me? Yeah. All right. You wouldn't be nervous or anything, would you? No. You sure? All right, here. Hold it. I'll get another violin. Oh, Don, Don, will you please get me a violin from the orchestra? You sure you won't be afraid? eats his lunch out of a mailbag, he's got beautiful legs. <laughs> oh, by the way, you know, I used to have a lot of trouble with Giselle McKenzie when we played that number. See, she used to show off and do a lot of tricks and everything to upset me, see? So don't just play the, the counter melody. Just straight. No tricks or anything, huh? You promise? Yes, sir. You won't show off with it or anything <laughs> like she did. Just straight, huh? You know, it's beautiful counter melody. No tricks, all right? Let's turn up. Give me A, will you please? That's close enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, darling, how old are you? Twelve years old. Twelve years old. <laughs> All right. We'll play Getting to Know You. I don't care if we're here all night. 
I don't care if we go into the next show. Just once, I want you to play it with the right, with the, with the counter melody. Will you please do it for me? Okay. Just as a favor. Don't show off with it. <laughs> Just play it straight. Twelve years old. She's 31 if she's a day. <laughs> Carnations are white, and you are fired as of tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed the show, and I'll be seeing you soon.